Deputy Party Coffee. Five minutes. Uh, thank you, uh, Lars Cahillac. Um, uh, I welcome the opportunity to continue to, uh, to contribute to this debate also, and I believe that the debate over the last few days, despite the con controversy involved, has been helpful to a degree, I suppose, to inform the public and raise the awareness uh, about the Irish utility, Aishka Aaron, or otherwise known as Irish Water. And I have attended the Environment Committee, where um, the executives from Irish Water, where I believe that they put on the record, and it's there for all to see, um, the responses from them uh, in detail regarding uh, the recent controversy. And I think that rather than the hysteria and the populist sound bites that I believe has occurred, and I would expect those in the initial few days from politicians and some media, but I think they no need to look now in detail at the responses that are now on the public record, and they will see for themselves the facts as they are uh, and in the proper context and why first uh, the Irish water utility and a national utility is needed, uh, but also on the facts on where the money has been spent with regard to introducing new customer billing and support systems for the national utility, and more importantly, in my view, uh, the national um, asset management system for every piece of water infrastructure that exists in this country. And I note with interest from the uh, motion from Fianna Fáil where they criticised the lack of a national audit of the water infrastructure. And I would agree that we should be critical of that. But I would ask, where were they for the last 15 years, at a time of economic prosperity? Why wasn't an audit of the national uh, water infrastructure put in place during that time? And I can speak from experience, as a member of a local authority, as I was for seven years, where I represented a town that had a bile notice served on it for almost three months during the Celtic Tiger years. Why was that? It was because we didn't have the investment in the water infrastructure. We had cryptosporidiosis in a town that I lived in. We saw it in Galway City, where it clo almost closed down the tourism industry. We saw the shortages in capacity in Dublin just before Christmas. All after a period, we were told, where there was huge investment in the Irish country. Well, I would call that neglect in the Irish water system. And that's what we inherited. And that's the context and the legacy that we have been left by the former government. We had 34 local authorities doing their best, in my opinion, to maintain a water infrastructure with very limited funding during that period. On an ad hoc basis, with no critical mass efficiency, no interconnectivity across those local authority areas. No consistent maintenance plans and no modern asset management system. Well, now with the introduction of the new national utility, Irish Water, we will have the audit uh, that Fianna Fáil are looking for. We will have it at long last and, and, and badly needed. We were investing over 1.2 billion euros per annum in a water infrastructure that was leaking 40% into the ground. How is that sustainable? That cannot continue. And if I listen to opposition spokespeople, that's what they want to continue. You don't have any answers as regards where the investment will come to fix that leakage and to reinvest in our water networks to ensure that we have the quality water and the clear water that we all want and aspire to. And we have the sustainable networks that we want also. So we can't speak out of both sides of our mouth. And I accept there's political points being scored, and I can understand why. But now we need to look at the detail and look at the facts around this and move beyond the substandard poor legacy of, inter of national infrastructure that we have inherited. And I, I will throw in the political point because I think it's important with the criticisms that this government is receiving over the last few days. PPARS, where over 220 million euros was spent on an inefficient IT system for the health service. 55 million euros spent on e-voting that never saw the light of day. And it took this government to remove them from the storage sheds around the country. That's the legacy of Fianna Fáil. And I have no problem with constructive criticism when it's due and fair. And I do accept there has been a criticism around the transparency. And I welcome the commitment by the Taoiseach and the Irish Water Executives that we will have full transparency around this utility. And I think the credibility will stack up then when you will see how this utility will serve the Irish people and the Irish taxpayer with efficiency. Already, by this move and the introduction of this utility, over 85 million euros has been saved for the Irish taxpayer by the use of the, the infrastructure in onboard gas and the expertise. That's not being spoken about to the degree that I'd like to hear. Yes, the Price Waterhouse Coopers um, 
um, submission that you criticised Deputy Cowan has been spoken about a lot that was redacted. I have no problem with that being published, in my opinion. But the fact that the Minister made a decision not to go with that has saved the Irish taxpayer €85 million Euros by using on-board gas. Thank you, Deputy. So rather than the hysteria, I'm more interested in seeing the solutions. And I think the Irish water utility, like the establishment of the ESB in 1926, and that too was opposed by Fianna Fáil, I think that can become a great national utility that will serve the people and this country well in the future.